YouTube viewers. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this set of pencils here. It is the Tombow 2558 high quality pencils for office, school, and family use. So without further ado, let's get into it. Well, I've had this in my bin for, oh, I would say a couple of years now, and I thought now would be a good time to go ahead and do a review on the Tombow 2558. Now, this one here says that it is a B pencil, so we're going to check it out and see if that is indeed the case. Now, this should be, I would believe, a dozen pencils. I'm going to take one out here. But before I go any further with the pencil itself, let's take a look and see if there's anything interesting on the box. Well, that's the box right there, and the words here are, you know, in a different language. I think it's Japanese. The pencil says that it's made in Vietnam, but it says it's rated as a B pencil. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. And let's take a look at the pencil itself. Well, just by looking at it right off the bat, I would say that it looks about as ordinary as any other yellow pencil that you would find in a, a school or office. Uh, if you, there was a bunch of pencils laying around and this one was among it, I'm not quite sure I'd be able to tell that this one was uh, a Tombow. Uh, perhaps except for if you take a look at the ferrule right here, it's got this kind of bronzy, I don't know, bronzy-ish, sometimes it kind of looks a little purplishy, but not much. I'd say it's kind of bronzy looking, but anyway. And the eraser, uh, it's not your pink eraser, as you can see there, it's, it's kind of your, oh, between, I would say peach. Or, well, mm, kind of hard to say, but I would say it's between a yellow and an orange, somewhere in there. So, no big deal. It, nothing really stands out as, wow, you know, that, that's a cool looking pencil. It's, it's a regular pencil, and it has the regular hex, you can see there. And there is the print, high quality Tombow, 2558. B. And then if you flip it around, you have that horrific barcode that I hate to see on pencils. And then it says since 1913 for general writing. So a B pencil for general writing means that somebody is going for uh, a smoother, darker, softer write. But uh, you, of course, sacrifice uh, longevity or durability or however you want to say it is as far as how much you can write between sharpening. But we'll we'll take a look at all that. So the first thing to do, of course, is to take this pencil and put a point on it. nice long point that I put on that and look at the tip it kind of puts off a slightly square tip on there which is really cool now the first thing I can see right off the bat here is the wood looks to be very high quality and the core is well centered because you don't see a lot of a graphite going way down one side and then the wood is way up on the other so this appears to be a well-centered pencil. All right. And I'm just going to take a few of them just like this without knowing what they are. Kind of a random thing. And that way you can see how this pencil compares to the others. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this again in the center. All right, put that off to the side, then grab one of these. It looks like I got a couple of black wings in this group of pencils here that I pulled out. Here's a black wing and here's a black wing. Hopefully they're not the same lead, but this one here is the black wing. Okay, 211. Go and do the other black wing here right on top. This one's the black wing 602. And I got this one here. It's called the General's Cedar Point number 333, and it's a number one pencil. So that one should definitely be interesting to see. Generals. Okay, definitely harder. Then I have this 909 series from Musgrave. So number two. Then I have this Stadler Rally number two HB. Then there is this matured Mitsubishi 9800 HB established in 1887 okay then we have the Murado Black Warrior, the number two pencil, HB. Which writes lighter, it looks like, than everything else. All right. So I'm just going to zoom in here, and you can take a look at all those and see how they compare in tone to the Tombow 2558. Now just looking at it from my vantage point, the Tombow seems to have a darker tone than this one, this one, this one, this one, and actually that one there, and that one there. Now, how do I know that? Because I'm squinting. You ever try that? Try squinting when you look at these, and you'll notice that the lightest ones start to fade away, where the darker ones you can still make out. So that's an interesting way to kind of see if anything is a little darker than the other. Hold, now I'm going to hold it in the back like I do when I'm drawing. This gives me good good control without putting weight on the the lead. Very smooth.
All right, so that's all covered in there. Okay, of course, that's the Tombow 2558. And let's say this Marauder Black Warrior. Okay, forget it. It automatically is harder and lighter, I can tell you, so we won't waste time on that. How about this Mitsubishi 9800? It's a smooth pencil. Clearly, it's a lighter pencil. And that makes sense considering that it's an HB. And this is a B. So that's good. This is a good pencil here. So Mitsubishi 9800 HB. I should make this a B here. Okay. So that's good. Now what about this Stadler number two Rally HB? Well, as you can see, it's lighter than the Mitsubishi. So this is kind of too light for me. But we're going to write here Rally HB. But it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as that Murado as far as um, it was smooth, just not as smooth as these other two here. Now we have the 909 series number two pencil. So we are comparing some, some um, school type pencils here. So let's see how this series 909 does here. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. All right, so that's a number, that's a 909 series number two. But you see a pattern here already? That Tombow B is a darker pencil and a smoother pencil, but it is a B. These are not Bs. So let's continue. Now let's compare it to the Blackwing 211. First off, I want to make sure that the Blackwing 211 is not the same as the 602. In other words, firm graphite. Well, the Blackwing 211 is the same as a Blackwing 602, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that away. Because that's a waste of time. Let's see. I'm going to grab me another B pencil here. Alright, here's a B pencil. So let's use that instead. Alright, and that one's a Golden Sword high class pencil with eraser. Golden Sword, huh? Interesting. Has a point on it already. So let's work with that. Okay. I'm going to put it right next to the 2558 and see if they compare. Ooh, little clay thing in there I just went over, but overall it's pretty smooth. Okay, this is a pretty smooth pencil. Uh, it does have some impurities that I can feel, some graphite getting, I mean some uh, clay kind of gets in the way from time to time. Uh, as far as the tone, the 2558 has a slight advantage over this Golden Sword high class pencil with eraser made in Japan which is also rated as a B. So I could feel with confidence that this is definitely a B rating here, the way they tend to stand out, uh, with the exception of this HB compared to here. Yeah, it is a little bit darker. 
Uh, but uh, the 2558 Tombow has an edge on that B. And I'm going to want to compare this 2558B with the uh, black wings here in a moment. So, with that said, first, let's uh, take a look at this Cedar Point number 333-1. All right, it's too light, but it's smooth, but it's too light. All right, so let's get that out of the way. And let's bring in the Blackwing. Now here's the Blackwing 602, but I'm going to need one more. And I'm going to use the Pearl. I happen to have one on my desk, so we're just going to go ahead and use that. This is my favorite pencil of, of, of all pencils in existence, is the Blackwing Pearl. Looks like that. I think it's beautiful. It just writes wonderfully. Let me go ahead and sharpen it. All right, there you go. So, let's try these out here. Love that pencil. All right, let me resharpen my Tombow here a little bit. Well, doesn't seem to need it. Nothing's happening there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the 2558. I can tell it sounds different, very smooth. Very, very smooth. I like that. There you go. And take a look at those three and see how they compare. So kind of hard for me to tell if there's really a difference here between these two. So it's time for me to do the more serious test, and that is the MB testing procedure here. And that means I'm going to uh, layer the graphite in several directions. So first, we go like this. We're going to... Make a big square here. Saturate is best. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm letting the pencil glide just on top. Next, you turn it like this, and then you go in this direction to put on the next layer. Just let that pencil glide. Don't press. Don't get a sheen on there. Don't make it start glaring. Just let that pencil glide over like so. And if there's any room on that paper, it will take the graphite. Now I'm going to go diagonally this way and ever so gently see if we can darken this up a little more without pressing on it. Just see if the graphite will still... There comes a point when you saturate the paper and the graphite just slides off the top of the graphite that's on the paper so you won't be able to add any more so layering like this at some point you just won't achieve it any darker and now I'm going to go diagonally this way and this is the last layer and this will make sure that if it can go a little darker it will Okay, and that's a very smooth pencil there, the 2558. Now, now that that was done, let's do the same thing with the Blackwing 602. So I've saturated that in four different directions right there. And so now I can see with the naked eye, the 2558 appears to have a darker tone than the uh, 
Blackwing 602. This $2 pencil here. Now, the pearl, I think, is going to come in darker than both because these are not that far off. So I'm going to put the pearl down here. And you should be able to see right off the bat that that, of course, is the darkest, which makes sense to me. That's the pearl. The 2558, though, is quite impressive compared to that 602. And I would say they're very close, though I have to give the 2558 that really minor edge against the 602. But with the pearl, uh, it, it isn't as dark, but it's certainly dark enough. Now, to get the Mitsubishi B pencil so that we can do the Mitsubishi test. And here is my Mitsubishi Hayuni B pencil that I use for drawing. So let's see how that compares to all three of these. go. So how does that compare? And to make sure that we don't have any glare, I'm going to hold it up like this and you can compare all these different graphites. So that all looks pretty good. So now let's put this thing under the light. Okay I've got this on the light box and uh, I'm going to highlight this area here and from the look of this, the only thing I can determine is that the pearl is darker than the others, but the other three is hard to determine uh, any difference using this method. I'm going to cut this. We want to compare the pearl to the uh, 2558. You just go like that and then see if you can see a difference in transition there. And done this way, interestingly enough, it's, it's very hard to see a difference. So we use this thing here. This is the gray scale and value finder. And let's see if we can use this. All right, so. Okay, I think we can easily tell that it is a lighter tone than value number six. That could possibly be number seven here. Well, it could be number number eight. So I would say this falls more in tone number eight. Yeah, this one's lighter than this. So, so I would give that an eight value. Let's see, the 602 also looks like an eight. The pearl is slightly darker, but not quite. It's like an eight and a half for the pearl, so that definitely is a darker than the 2558. Yep. A little bit darker, most definitely. So the 602 is definitely an 8. And the Mitsubishi B pencil is an 8. So the Mitsubishi B, the 602, and the 2558 pretty much falls in the 8 scale with the Pearl kind of darker, obviously darker, 
than here, but not quite as dark as here. So it is, yeah. So it is in the middle there. So it's like an eight and a half. So it, it has a half on it. All right. Well, I think we've pretty much exhausted every test that I can possibly think of in reviewing this Tombow 2558 B pencil. My overall review on this is that it is a high quality soft B pencil, probably on the upper range in darkness for a B pencil, as it uh, certainly seemed to, uh, at least to my naked eye here, have a slight advantage to the Mitsubishi B as far as tone but not too much. They all fell in the 8 except for the Pearl. So I think it's a great pencil. It's a writing pencil, not a drawing pencil, though of course you could draw with it, obviously, for office, school, family use, whatever. Uh, the looks of it, my opinion, it's just a generic looking yellow pencil. No big deal. It's not like, you know, one of these with the fancy erasers, you know, and the fancy paint job. But it is a very good, high-quality pencil to use for everyday use in your schoolwork, office work, and so forth. So I definitely think that this is a good pencil to have, and especially if you can get it for a good cost. All right. Well, I hope you like this review of the Tombow 2558. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.